Hey, this is Peter from Nexton Web. In Smart Slider 3, there are many options to make your slider responsive. In this video, I will show you most of these settings. I can use all kinds of layers easily. Every layer has its own responsive behavior, so I might need to adjust them on smaller screens. The tablet view looks the same, but the button starts to shift away. In mobile view, the placing of the button is wrong and the text cannot be read. We'll go through all of the responsive options to improve the appearance. The mobile view is pretty small, as handhelds have smaller screens. This means that I can show less content. In my case, the picture isn't necessary on mobile and I'd rather just show my texts. I can hide the image if I activate the layer and then the toolbar contains the desktop, tablet and mobile visibility. I just turn off the mobile visibility. As the button shifted away on mobile, I should change its alignment. All layers have aligning points. This point defines the position from where the layer is aligned to the slider. It can be points at the compass and the center point. I can see this point if I click on the layer and leave the cursor over it. As you can see, my heading has a blue dot in the center. It means that the position is relative to the center of the slider. The other text has the blue dot in the top left corner. It is relative to the top left corner of the slider. The button is positioned from the center too, and this is the cause of the issue. As you can see, the layers are aligned to each other from the left. So for the best result, I choose the left aligning point for those layers. I can set the responsive point on the toolbar. Also, I can click the aligning point on the layer. These three layers are aligned with the top left corner and snaps great. The texts are still small, so I need to adjust the font size and the position. I can move and resize layers on smaller views. Also, I can increase the size of the text using the font resizer. I can also reset my layers back to the desktop layout. Smart Slider has one more feature to position layers. In some cases, a layer aligned to the slider can't give the desired result. For example, if I put the button to the bottom right corner of the all the layers text, it's not obvious which aligning point works well. To solve this, I use the layer chaining feature. It allows to position a layer to another layer instead of the slider. Pick the layer you want to position to. And pick the point you want to position to. Then select the layer you want to position. And this point you want to position to the previously selected point. The top right corner of the button snaps to the bottom right corner of the layer above. Now I don't need this, so I undo my last steps. When you are in the mobile view, the slider might be too short. To make it taller, I can limit the slider's minimum height. Just go to the slider setting, to the size tab, and to the slider height option. Here I can give a minimal value, which will be the smallest height of the slider. I can give a maximum slider height not to let the slider grow too tall.
Now you can see if the screen is bigger, the slider still looks great. And in the mobile view I have more space. So I can make the text bigger, maybe keep the previously hidden image layer visible and position them into this bigger area. That's it. If you learn to use these options, you will be able to create responsive sliders easily. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.